Let's look at sin, about sin. To be saved, you have to have a knowledge. Uh, you have to acknowledge that you're a sinner. Uh, go to Romans uh, chapter 3, verse 10, and it tells us that there is no one righteous. No, not one. And what makes anyone a sinner? We sin because we are sinners. Uh, we live in a body of flesh, uh, which has a sin nature. And so go to Romans 5, uh, verse 12, and it states, uh, Wherefore, as by one man sinner, sin entered into the world, and that one man would be Adam, and death by sin, so that death passes upon all men, for that all have sinned. And Adam was the one who committed the original sin, if you remember. Then in Genesis chapter 2, verse 17, it states, But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof it thou shalt surely die. But then when Adam and Eve ate of the tree, they didn't die. They lived for years afterwards. Why was that? That's because the death God was referring to was their spiritual death and not just a physical one. Uh, once they sinned and died spiritually, they, they then had a sin nature and were at enmity with uh, God. We inherit that sin nature from Adam and are born spiritually dead. That's why we have to be born again. Uh, and to be born again, we must realize that we are sinners. Uh, so uh, go to Romans uh, chapter 3, verse 23, and uh, it also tells us how many of us are sinners, and it states, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And then in Romans 6, 23, uh, we're told that for the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So uh, the gift of God is eternal life. It's a gift. It's not something you can work for or earn. And, uh, and this, uh, for wages of sin is death. That's the second death. In other words, uh, uh, the first death is when you die physically. And Hebrews uh, chapter 9, verse 27 tells us that uh, at death comes judgment. So at death, your, our bodies go to the grave and our soul goes either to heaven or hell depending upon what decision we made in this life before that death came. For the lost person, there's a second death. And that second death is, uh, 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 the death that's spoken of here is, is a second, which is an eternal separation from God in the lake of fire. As this verse explains, sin earns wages, so don't think you're free from those wages. You can be, but only if you're born again. Uh, Jesus Christ died to pay for your sins. And, and since that is true, you cannot do good works to be saved. You do, uh, you do good works because you are saved. Salvation is only through Jesus Christ. Uh, so uh, uh, looking at uh, Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. <clears throat> it is the gift of God. So salvation is a gift. Jesus paid for our sins by dying on the cross. And, and it's not of works, lest any man should boast. And so clearly you cannot earn your way to heaven since it's a gift and you don't have to earn gifts. You just accept a gift. Uh, salvation is not of good works. Otherwise, man would boast is what it says. And go to Galatians uh, chapter 2, verse uh, 21. That tells us that Christ would have died in vain. And it says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. And then uh, look at Titus uh, chapter 3, verse 5. Uh, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. So works have nothing to do with it, regardless of you hear all these people talking about uh, being saved by good works. That's uh, false teaching, um, according to God's word. All right, and then we are told in Isaiah chapter 64, 6, that but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, hath taken us away. So please remember that you don't have any righteousness if you're lost, and even if we did have a little, it would not be good enough to get you into heaven. Salvation is something we receive from God as a gift and not something that we can earn. 
uh, even if you have only sinned one time, you are still in need of a Savior. If you have uh, offended God in one point, then you're guilty of violating all the law, according to James chapter 2, verse 10. And that tells us that for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. So in fact, we are all sinners, according to Romans chapter 3, verse 10. It tells us, as it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Now look at uh, 1 John 1.10, uh, and it tells us that if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. And you hear a lot of people say that they haven't sinned. So have you sinned or not? The Bible says you have, and that is God's word telling you that you have sinned. God's laws condemn us, but are given to point us to Christ. And and, and now go to uh, Romans chapter 3, verse 20. It states that, uh, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So the law gives us a knowledge of sin. Looking at the law, for example, the Ten Commandments, we have uh, seen in Romans 3, 20 that we cannot be justified. Uh, just as if we had never sinned, which means we can be saved, cannot be saved by doing good works. We are only saved by Jesus Christ because he died on the cross to, to pay for our sins. We're told in Romans chapter 3, verse 19, uh, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Not one person in any time period could keep the whole law of God. Uh, what was the law given for then? Paul gives us the answer in Galatians 3, uh, verse uh, 24. And it tells us, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us to Christ, that, uh, that we might be justified by faith. Uh, notice that the law was given to bring us to Christ so that we could be justified by faith. And notice it does not save the good works. Uh, now, let's take a look at what God says in Romans chapter 7, verses 12 and 13. It says, uh, Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, worketh death in me, by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. So if you want to go to heaven, then you have to admit that you are a sinner and turn to Christ for salvation. If you're not saved, what does this sinning cost you? The Bible states in Romans 6, 23, uh, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And clearly, uh, this verse tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the death that it's talking about here is the second death. Uh, just remember that death doesn't uh, uh, mean you lose consciousness, uh, but that your position in life has changed. The first death is where you uh, die and your body goes uh, to the grave and the soul and spirit go to either heaven or hell. Uh, whichever one you choose while you are still alive in your body. However, only those that did not choose Jesus Christ in heaven will see the second death. The second death is being cast into the lake of fire forever. Both the lost and hell are cast into the lake of fire. Look at uh, uh, Revelations 20, uh, uh, verses 13 and 14 for proof of this. It states, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And, and, and of course, that's at the end of the judgment, the, the great white throne judgment. Uh, and then going further, Revelation 21, verse 8, we're told, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers uh, and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. should be clear that if you're lost, you're going to the lake of fire that burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Uh, you need to be saved today, and so when the first death comes, you will go to be with Jesus in heaven. If you fail to get saved in your life here on earth, you will die a second death. Uh, you don't want to do that. 
and you want to get saved today, right now, and be born again. And then when you die, you will go to heaven for eternity. So when you're first born, you have a sin nature. And if you don't become saved when you die and go to the lake of fire, uh, remember that when you were born, your spirit was already dead. So you need to be born again and have that uh, and have a uh, spiritual life anew in Jesus Christ. If you're not saved, then your father is the devil and you're on your way to hell. Ephesians uh, chapter 2 verses 1 and 2 tells us, And you have thee quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sin, wherein time past you walk according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And uh, people that are spiritually dead uh, naturally follow a life of sin uh, that their father the devil leads them into. Uh, Hebrews 9.27 tells us, And as it is appointed to men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So at the very moment we die, we are judged. And then after the millennial reign of Christ, there will be a great white throne judgment. Remember that you were already judged when you first died. So now you will be judged for degrees of punishment at the great white throne judgment. And if you have not yet accepted Christ as your Savior, you're, uh, you are presently condemned to hell. And this is made clear in John 3, uh, 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. So if you have not accepted Christ as your Savior, look at what Psalms uh, chapter 7, verse 11 says about you. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. So, Make your decision for Christ today uh, before it is uh, too late. And I thank you for listening.